This is Lottie. I created a portrait of her in my lucid dream. And now I'm going to tell you about the dream in which this artwork was created. It started with a sensation of me separating from my body. This is a lucid dream, so I knew what I needed to do. I started spinning myself around to transport myself to Lottie's house, but it didn't quite work because I ended up in this forest. But it was okay because Lottie was there too. I got a piece of paper, I held it up to her face, I willed the page to become transparent, and after a moment or two, this drawing appeared on the page. Then I memorized the image, woke myself up, and recreated this drawing in waking life. These are a few other examples of portraits I've created using this technique. As you can see, sometimes they look like people, sometimes not so much. I like to think these images have a poetic or metaphorical relationship to the person I'm attempting to draw. You're probably wondering why in Lottie's portrait I held the paper up to her face like this. That's because one of the key features of the dream world or the dreaming mind is the fact that everything's constantly changing, right? Nothing's static for more than a couple of seconds. So that being the case, if you try to draw something in a dream like you would in waking life, it just doesn't work, right? You look at the thing, you draw a bit, you look back. By the time you look back, the drawing's changed. The thing you're drawing is morphed into something else. It just doesn't work. So I developed that technique after a long period of trial and error as a way of drawing things within the dream environment, which works with the laws of the dreaming mind. If you would like to commission me to draw you in a lucid dream, you can get in touch via my website. Assuming I don't already know you, the portrait process will involve us talking over Zoom prior to me incubating the dream. My website is dave-green.co.uk.